Welcome back to Eco Fires and Stoves. Today I would like to just hit on a subject that's obviously quite important on the top of people's minds at the moment. It's about energy prices. Um, nearly all the calls we're getting at the moment is to do with what alternatives are there, how can I save money on my fuel prices, and some customers are worried about gas not being available in the future. Um, we say to all customers, there's really no need to worry when it comes to your secondary heating, like a like your wood burner or your gas fire, what have you. You know, um, you've got to look at everything a little bit sensibly. One thing that people are doing a lot of at the moment is actually upgrading their gas fires because the old ones used to be so inefficient. They was all about being decorative, lots of lovely flames, all your heat going up your chimney. Um, they have obviously changed a lot and. Um, especially in the last sort of eight, nine years, they've been working on the efficiency all the time. And they're now coming up with some cracking products, um, which are running up to you know, 75, 85, 95% heat efficient, depending on what flu you have. Um, this is just one example. Uh, uh, it's a fire we love. It's called Wildfire. Um, and these are one of the companies that have really worked hard on the efficiency, but also kept the fire very simple in its operation. It keeps the cost right, um, but you ended up with something that actually looks really good as well. So this is the Wildfire Revell 600, probably a lot more efficient than your current gas fire. So that's one way of helping out with your heating um, costs. Also another one, which I've hit on before, I'm going over old ground a little bit, but all these high efficiency fires now have glass fronts. The idea of that glass front is to stop your heat escaping. Not just the heat that your fire produces, but the heat from your central heating as well. Um, so the whole thing is making your home more efficient. So that's the gas fire side of it. Um, I'm doing this video in uh, one of the hottest days of the year, so I'm just gonna turn this one off now, because it's burning my leg. Simply turned off. Now, we have also got, um, I would say probably 70% of our customers at the moment are phoning up because they want to change from gas to a wood burner because they think it's cheaper to run. It's actually not. A wood burner is good. It's an alternative fuel. That's what's um, appealing about it. Not necessarily a cheaper option. Obviously, some people get their fuel for nothing because they've got their own wood supply and as long as they're drying it out, that's fine. But most people have to buy their wood in. Wood is not cheap, especially for a reputable um, certified company. Still going to be probably more expensive than a gas fire to run. So always bear that in mind when you're making those decisions. So wood burning is a good choice for an alternative. You use it, you enjoy it, but it's not part of your main heating system. It's not on all the time like a boiler. Boilers run all the time. They've got to be as, as efficient as possible and as cheap to run as possible usually. With a wood burner or a gas fire, you know what you're using, you're using it occasionally for enjoyment, but you're reaping the benefits from it at the same time. That's the way to look at it. At the moment now, we are getting a lot of interest in electric fires because obviously they are feature only. They're good as far as energy goes because they're costing you more or less nothing to have as an effect only, and people want that warm effect. But when you use the heater, you're still using a two kilowatt electric heater. So very rarely would you use that heater with electric because they're really there to be decorative and people like to put their media walls in with the TVs above them. Very popular choice at the moment. Um, and if, if you look at it that way, you can have your feature on, no heat at all, very, very cheap to run. Um, but it's not a real fire, which is what obviously a lot of people want. So that's kind of it really. Uh, I just wanted to quickly hit on those couple of things purely because it might help you to think what is the best thing you could be doing? Really what I'm saying is don't worry too much. Go for as efficient as possible, but still go for what you want because it's an occasional heater. It's not a full-time heater, so you know what you're using. Okay, thank you.